Hey, good morning, family. Test already here with your man and coffee this morning. <clears throat> I'm still fighting allergies. It's a bad thing about living in California, man. When the Santa Ana's come up and when the rain comes and everything blooms, you know, I just get allergies like crazy. You know, I think I get allergies more from uh, California because we have more blooming idiots in California than we do uh, smart people. <clears throat> but here's the thing. Go with me to the book of James. And in James 1, starting in verse 5, it tells us, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, and it shall be given to all men liberally, and unabradeth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, not wavering. There's the key word, wavering. You know, kind of like we use we used to use the word waffling. You know, you just like you know, you go back and forth. Uh, you couldn't make up your mind. You know, I have that problem when you know my uh, when my blood sugar crashes, and you know my uh, Linda asked me. She goes, "Well, where do you want to eat?" <laughs> I couldn't give you a straight answer to save my life. You know, because my blood sugar is crashing, I can't make up my mind for nothing. I waver. That's wavering. You can't make a decision. You can't make a solid decision on what you want to do. And it says, nothing wavering, for he that wavers is like the, the waves of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. Let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. Wow, nothing. You want wisdom and you waver? Guess what, you're not gonna get, God's not listening to you. He's not gonna hear you. Because you need to make up your mind. You know, Lord, I need wisdom in this area and you stick to it. And you ask in faith and allow God to bring that to you. Then it says, here's the key verse now. A double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways, and that's in verse 8. A double-minded man, one guy that wavers. You know, I think about when people run for office or run for a position or are looking to get a promotion. They say all kind of things. You know, two chickens in every pot. <laughs> that's an old phrase. I'm sure that you younger people are not going to get that, but you guys that are older with a lot of gray hair like me, you're going to figure that one out. The two chicken in every pot phrase that politicians used to throw out. But you know what? They're double-minded. Because they'll say one thing and then they do another. You know, this was very true in our nation. We have had presidents come and go, Double-minded man, speaking, speaking uh, tongue-in-cheek, they couldn't get a solid decision out of their mind if they wanted to. But now we do have a president today that does. You know, at least I can say, you know, Trump does a lot of stupid things sometimes, like when he opens his mouth and tweets. <laughs> he can say a lot of dumb things. I love my president, but you know what? Sometimes he goes off the deep end, as we all do. I know I can. I I will do it sometime. You you guys will sit there and say, what is that already saying? I just went off. Uh, they call it going off script. Sort of like what I'm doing now. I'm going off script. You don't want to go off script. You want to stay online because a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. You know, the truth of God's word is it, it is yes and amen. It is now, forever, and forever shall be the Word of God. There is nothing you can add to it or take from to make it fit your lifestyle. Well, you could, but you know what? You're just causing yourself to be condemned by God later. A lot of people don't get that. They say, well, God's not a dreadful God. He's a loving God. You know, it says it's the point that every man wants to die and then the judgment. If it were not so, it wouldn't be in this Bible. Remember we were talking about earlier, uh, one of the other videos, uh, my my uh, pastor, uh, my co-pastor, I hate calling him an assistant pastor, he's not an assistant pastor. 
He's actually a teacher for the ministry. Uh, but Pastor Tony, we want to do a live online on Rock Ministries Facebook page about the differences between some of the variations of the different Bibles that are out there. Now you may say, well, you know, I've been an NIV guy or gal for 20 years. Well, that's all well and good, you know. I was a New King James guy for 30 years, and it wasn't until I figured out, wait a minute, these aren't making sense, because I would read my King James Bible, and I'd read my New King James Bible, and there was like some discrepancies, and I wasn't really keen on the discrepancies. Because I don't want to be double-minded when I give out the word. I don't want to be lacking in faith. I don't want to be lacking and wavering back and forth about how to give the word of truth. We can pray for you guys. We can do all kinds of things. But the thing is, if we lead you astray in the word, then man, you know, we are just, we're headed, we're headed down the wrong path. You know, we are held to a higher accountability than any of you. And if I mislead you, and if I give you the word incorrectly, guess what? I stand in judgment not for you, but because of what I said to you. We need to ask in faith, nothing wavering, for they that wavers are like the, the waves of the sea, driven with the wind and calm. You know, there's nothing, you know, you can go out, a good example, like I used to go to Chicago on business trips, and you know, they have the big lake there, and you go out on, on the lake, and you look at the lake, one day it'll be calm and smooth and glass. And then by afternoon, man, it's got white caps and it's being whipped up by wind and tossed all over the place. That's the example that God's using here. We don't want to be tossed to and fro by the wind. We want to be steadfast, solid with our feet planted firmly in the Word of God, knowing that His Word is yes and amen. Today, family, let's not be double-minded. Let's not say one thing and then do another. You know, try your best. We all fail, you know, because we have a free will, so we're going to make mistakes every now and then. But the thing is, we need to make sure that we stand firm on the solid foundation of God's Word. Today, family, don't be a double-minded Christian. Don't be tossed to and fro based on what you've read, and then you make your own decision as to what it should mean. Stand up today. Let's not be double-minded. Let's be focused on what God's Word is. Go out there. Share the love of Christ with somebody today. Let them know that Jesus loves them with an ever, never-ending love. And in that, you're going to find a blessing waiting for you as well. May God bless you. May He keep you. May He make His face to shine upon you and give you peace today and put a smile on your face because He loves you so much. Linda and I are praying for you. My buddy Pastor Tony and I, we're lifting you up there with Rock Ministries. We hope that you guys have a blessed day and look forward. I will be giving you more information about that live broadcast about why we use the King James Bible. And hopefully it'll bring some insight to you. We don't want to be double-minded. We want to make sure we give you the, uh, the true word of God. So, from all of us here at Rock Ministries, Linda and I included. We love you guys and we'll talk to you real soon. Bye, guys.